Hey, this is Anthony from RevZilla. Watch, decide, and ride. Welcome to our best modular motorcycle helmet guide at RevZilla.com. In this video, we're gonna break down our top five best modular motorcycle helmets at RevZilla.com. This is based on our riding, our research, and our expert opinion. But before we do that, let's dive into the modular set. Why would you choose a modular? What does a modular do specifically that other helmets won't? And really help you understand the range of these helmets. So when we think modular and we think flip face, we think convenience. Again, this helmet has a chin bar that flips up. That's the base case, and every one of the helmets on this table today, which go from 200 all the way up to $850. They also have a drop down sun visor. I'm also gonna call out that modular helmets typically are a little bit heavy compared to your normal full face helmet. So again, they have a mechanism that allows that chin bar to go up. Now, when we think about that convenience factor though, that's going to be allowing you to put that chin bar up, which again, isn't meant to be in the riding position or you're not meant to be riding with it up. But what it allows you to do is speak to your passenger, speak to another rider, really, Get some wind, get some sun, take a drink of something, eat something. Again, if you wanna be Hannibal from the A-Team, anything that allows you to get access to your face, people, especially longer distance riders, absolutely love that. And also keep in mind, when you're thinking about some of these helmets, they have specific functions. Some are high-end, some are more suited for touring, some are a little sportier, you're gonna see some adventure modulars on the table. And we're gonna get to that in a second. Now, beyond that, you're still evaluating modular helmets the same way that you would evaluate another helmet. That's gonna be level of investment type of functionality needed. You're thinking about weight, and again, you're thinking about the quiet factor. But really, when we think about modulars, remember, these are all gonna be typically heavier than your normal full face helmet, where a good full face is gonna come in really around that three and a half pound mark. A good modular is probably closer to 312, and you're gonna see that as we work our way through. Now, keep in mind, you can shop the full collection. You can watch detailed breakdown videos on everything I'm gonna show you today. You can learn more about modulars at revzilla.com slash modular. Let's dive into our table. Now, first, up is our LS2 Metro at around the $200 mark. And this really makes our cut as one of the best because in our opinion for around the $200 mark, you have a high quality polycarb helmet, three pounds, 12 ounces, intermediate oval in its head shape, but we love this style. It's really universal. It has a sport feel, it has a sport touring feel. It still gives you the drop down sun visor, but we really didn't have any complaints about it. We actually looked at it and at first glance, when LS2 sent it to us and we started evaluating it, we said, where are you gonna price this? 250, 300, 300 plus? And they said $200. So really the superlative that goes with the LS2, that if you're new to this range and you want a helmet that just works, that won't break the bank, value for dollar on the LS2 Metro is absolutely tremendous. And again, being that it's intermediate oval in its head shape, it should fit a multitude of riders. It's not overly round, it's not overly narrow. Again, it just works. If we had to knock it in any one place, again, you're not investing at the top end of R&D on the spectrum. So this helmet, especially with all the vents that work really, really well, tends to be a little bit louder. But in our experience, if you're doing longer distance riding, a lot of times you're gonna wear earplugs or headphones anyway. So keep that in mind. Again, LS2 Metro, we were shocked when we first saw it it's done extremely well. Again, high five on value for dollar there. Now, if we move on, we're gonna completely switch gears and let's talk about the ADV function. Now, this helmet has a peak. It looks like a dirt helmet, that's because it is. This is one of two helmets on the market currently which is considered an ADV modular. This is the Scorpion XO AT950. Now, three pounds, 12 ounces, again, right in the middle of the pack, intermediate oval head shape. It's gonna fit most riders. Drop down sun visor, we talked about that earlier. But again, the chin bar on this helmet comes up, the shield comes up on this helmet, you have your drop down sun visor, and you get this peak, which gives you that dirt functionality. Now, you can spend $260 and get an AT950, which really we don't have a lot of knocks against. We look at this helmet, we said, how will we improve it? We're not exactly sure and all of the other things we might change, going to fiberglass from polycarb, they would take it into the $300 north range, and again, you start to lose some of the economy of this helmet. The only other helmet in this category as a modular adventure helmet is the Schuberth E1, which is a $900 super light, super quiet, super premium modular helmet, but again, Getting that peak, you have two options on the market, and this is tremendous. We've seen many riders that were dying for flip face adventure functionality gravitate to the Scorpion XO AT950. Again, rock solid. And remember, intermediate oval, it's gonna work for everybody. Again, both of these helmets too, just DOT rated. It's harder to get more than a DOT on a modular helmet. And I will say this too, if you're thinking about riding these helmets with the chin bars up, they're not DOT rated with the chin bars up. They're always DOT rated when you have the chin bar in the down position. 
Now, moving on to our scorpion, let's go to a unique bird in the middle of my table here. This is the Shark Eveline 3 ST. And you're gonna say, I know the Eveline 3 ST. Hasn't it been around for a few years? It absolutely has. And the reason is, Shark has had a hard time improving it. Now, when we look at this helmet, what's different, you're gonna say, is that a module? It doesn't look like there's a chin bar. The reason is, is this is the only helmet on the table designed for the chin bar to actually be worn in the back position. So what you have very uniquely, is a helmet where if I pull this up, drop that down, snap it in, you can ride this helmet with the chin bar in the fully down or fully up position. It's the only one that carries its DOT rating, even with that chin bar up. What I do is I pull it from down at the bottom there, slide it back around, and now I have a helmet that I ultimately can wear as a three-quarter, really fully configured and aerodynamic to be in this position. Now, let's dive into some of the negatives here. We like the interior guts. It's gonna be over the $300 mark. Again, drop down sun visor, but the negative is the weight. And this is really my key issue with the Evil Line. If they ever come out with an Evil Line 4, it's what I'd like to see them improve. If we think about this helmet, everything on the table is gonna be sub four pounds. This helmet comes in at four pounds, two ounces. So what that means is for a two to four hour ride, few hundred miles, you're just fine. And again, I've done West Texas in this helmet, so I remember very clearly how this helmet felt. First half of the day, totally fine. A full four, three, four, 500 mile day, all of a sudden what's gonna happen is you're gonna feel that four plus pounds on your head. You just feel it, it comes into play, you can't get away from it, those extra ounces will build up over time. The other thing to call out is when you have it in the open position, again, similar ranges, what starts to happen is when you move this chin bar back, it changes the center of gravity of the helmet. So the helmet is actually gonna start to feel a little bit heavier on the back side of your head. Half day riding, fine. Full day riding, you're gonna start to feel that. But all in, it's going to be a premium fiberglass helmet, again, that moves up the food chain. You're in that $300 plus dollar range now. The fit and finish are great. It uses a lot of the guts off the higher end shark helmets. The other thing to call out is this is the only round helmet on our table. This helmet actually is very earth shaped. Some would say neutral. I'm actually gonna call it round. So if you have a wider, more equilibrium in the circumference of your head, this is gonna be the only modular on the market that's gonna carry that distinction. And keep that in mind too, if you're thinking about fitment, we're gonna ship for free over 39 bucks. And what I'd really love is if you click our logo, subscribe to us at Ribzilla on our YouTube channel, leave me your comments, your questions, your feedback on any of these lids, any modulars for that matter. And I'd love it if you point out a helmet that you think is phenomenal that we might have missed here in our best of for the modular set. Now, moving right along, now I got a Shoei, and I really step up in price here. Shoei is a premium Japanese manufacturer. This is the Neotech, the fit and finish are phenomenal. The grab Graphics are phenomenal. All the premium materials that are gonna come in contact with your skin are really gonna feel tremendous. They're gonna steal from the RF-1200. They're gonna steal from the X-14. Again, this helmet has been a staple within the modular world for some time. These are the type of helmets, again, made by hand. I've been to the Shoei factory in Japan. They make less than 2,000 helmets every day for the entire company. So again, there's a level of detail. I didn't see a lot of machines. I saw a lot of people assembling these helmets with a high attention to detail. Now, if we look at this helmet, it's been around a little bit. It's your basic functionality. The fit and finish feel great. Also, the chin bar mechanism feels really solid and sturdy. It's using metallic parts when everything needs to come together and lock in that position. My knock on this helmet for being over the $600 mark, while it is a tremendous helmet, it's going to be a little heavy at three pounds, 14 ounces. The other thing too that we're starting to see as the helmet or the modular helmet category evolves is if we're over the $600 mark, you're not getting an integration with the comm unit. You're not getting some of these other features that are starting to take the technology to the next level. So while I really can't knock Shoei for much on the Neotech outside of the fact that it's a little bit heavier than some of the other helmets I've showed you today at the 312 mark, it is extremely well balanced. And again, you're carrying that premium Shoei distinction. Again, this is the Neotech, in my estimation, in the next few years, we'll probably see it replaced with a helmet coming out, standing on its shoulders, taking technology to the next level. But right now, this is the flagship from Shoei, and the flagship, truly, in my opinion, out of Japan for modular helmets. Now, last up on the table is a helmet that's come out relatively recently. This is the latest and greatest from Germany. This is German engineering R&D at its finest. This is machine precise, again, where Shoei's gonna be handmade, and there's a magic to that. The Schubert C4 is going to be as engineered as engineered comes. And there are a few key things when you start to look at an $850 plus dollar helmet that really come into play. Schubert's known to be one of the lightest. It's coming in at three pounds, 12 ounces. Now the previous generation C3 Pro was actually 3.8. So when you look at it from the C3 Pro to the C4, which is the current iteration, you're gonna say it actually got heavier. But the beauty of this helmet is it's fully integrated with speakers, 
with boomless and wireless mics. It's fully integrated for the new SC1 system, which has a ton of technology, the antenna. If you want to go comm system for another few hundred dollars, you plug it in, it moves away from the neck roll. Again, it's just a wonderfully designed helmet. The other thing, you're still getting your drop down sun visor. The ergonomics on this helmet, as well as the Neotech, are both going to be intermediate oval, so it should fit most riders. But the other big distinction here, when we talk about the C4, or really any modular helmets within the Schubert family, is they are extremely quiet. Again, this helmet is rated 82 to 83 decibels compared to the other helmets when they put them in the wind tunnel. So while a lot of folks are going to wear their earplugs, for this helmet you don't have to. And especially with the integrated Cena components for the comm units, it really just takes the next step up. And remember, we did talk about the Schubert E1, which again is the adventure configuration of a C3 Pro that has a larger chin vent as well. But again, the fit and feature as well as the quiet and engineering are really the showstoppers when you invest at, in my opinion, a nosebleed level at $800 plus for a helmet. So again, we started from entry level, we worked all the way up to the high end, and in my opinion too, when you start to think about the functionality, if you want the lightest on the market, there's an option for you. If you want the quietest, there's an option for you. If you just need a rock solid modular, my favorite thing about the current state of motorcycle helmets is that ultimately you can get a tremendous amount of helmet for under the $300 mark, which five years ago, we just didn't see. So again, technology and productivity are increasing efficiency, allowing manufacturers to deliver helmets that are just better than we'd ever seen for a more attainable price, which allows riders more options. The other thing I'm going to call out too before we move on here is that I do have a favorite. Of all of these helmets, if I want to boil it down to value for dollar, a standout among these, when you really look at it and say that helmet is just a smoking set of options at a smoking price. Again, I hate to be so price sensitive, but the LS2 Metro, value for dollar, like I said, this helmet should easily cost three to three fifty. You're getting it for two hundred dollars. Everything considered as you go up the food chain, that is just something very special that we don't see too often. And we hope LS2 can maintain that price as they move forward in the future. So keep in mind the next step in your journey. Click the info button, visit RevZilla.com slash modular. Learn more, watch detail breakdown videos, and you can always shop for all of the modulars. There's a ton, but this is our best five set within the modular world, again, moving into the future. As always, we're gonna ship free over 39 bucks. If you wanna talk to a gear geek, see us at RevZilla.com or 877-792-9455. Thanks for watching RevZilla's best modular or motorcycle helmets guide. Remember, subscribe to us at Revzilla on our YouTube channel. Stay up to date with our opinion, the latest and greatest in the motor universe. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.